here tonight, so I'm reading um, what he wrote. Um, I attended the debate between Mr. Reber and Ms. Van Rampers and did not gain much new insight. Clearly, this is a debacle that could have been avoided had we simply allowed a transparency to shine rather than put a deal together with Jordan Oil. Now public trust is lost. Had there been a good public hearing with time for Q&A with all stakeholders presidents fo present filed by a vote, we would not be mired by this. This is old history, as you know, and everyone has commented. One thing Mr. Weber mentioned during the debate was his concern for property rights and that 400 residents had signed leases with Jordan. While I do not have evidence, I do not believe 400 people signed anything. What I believe happened is that some HOA presidents may have signed off without the knowledge of the homeowners. I base this on wondering, how is it that Thornridge subdivision, with about 400 households, voted 93% against the Jordan proposal? Are Thornridge residents that unique to all of Rochester Hills? Are we the only subdivision whose leadership had the foresight to bring us together for a hearing? A Jordan oil lawyer was present at this meeting and tried his best to convince us that it was a good deal, but failed. I think you are trying hard and failing to put a spin on these 400 property owners who signed. You express concern for their property rights. This is good, but you seem to ignore the voting rights. So now you address what is to become of the majority who seem based on my not so scientific analysis to be in favor. The other thing is economics. I do not think any of these 400 homeowners who signed the deal it looks like even if it happens, they might get about $15 per month before taxes. I don't think they know. Looking forward, I suggest you find a way to undeal the deal with Jordan. The world is awash in oil and gas, and the U.S. is exporting. OPEC is in fighting, and the result is oil and gas prices are declining. People see it at the pump. Jordan may not be looking at a business case that makes sense. There was an article in the Wall Street Journal a few days ago where they interviewed the CEO of Heil Burton. He commented on horizontal drilling in highly densely populated areas, and basically he suggested a good, open communication was in order to gain trust, and then to try to achieve collaboration. He spoke of setbacks. My suggestion is, assuming the business case still makes sense, we develop a strategy that allows us to back up in order to go forward. Put a committee together made up of you, some citizens, Jordan, MDEQ. We are blessed with a lot of intelligent people in Rochester Hills. Many of us have a big time experience in the private se sector that could help you. I made this recommendation previous meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.